Are there really enough hours ever in a day? At least for me, the answer is no. Ooh, look at that. Gator tires. I'm sure you're aware by now that the Gator needs two new tires. When Cole helped me out the last time, we ended up making a bead breaker. I think it's gonna break the bead like... I can't think of an analogy for this. That's okay, let's just do it, buddy. And here it is. This thing slides right into the Duramax and then you can actually break a bead. Ching, ching. It'll save us a lot of time in the future and Cole and I had a blast building it. As you can see, the Gator's down to its bare bone. It's only got three wheels, it's not a trike. Hopefully we can fix that. This is the tire Cole and I worked on. Unfortunately, we didn't have that much time that day. We I ended up making like a 12 minute video that day. We, we went and saw our father, so we only had time to break one bead. That's okay though, it gives me a head start for today. So I can get a new tire on this sucker and then use that bead breaker and get the other one all set. Here's the first rim. I'm going to clean it up and put the new tire on. I'm not gonna do that right away though. I'm going to get the other tire and rim and take that off. But it's, this thing's soaked. Unfortunately, I put a brand new tube in this thing and it didn't even last. But what's really a shame is the fact that it, this tire has so much rubber on it and so much life left. But since somebody like ran it on a low tire and a flat tire, it just caved the sidewall in. The only good thing is, is this guy's next life might be at a playground near you. I've only used this thing one time. Let's see if I can master it. Off. Oh, that's slick. That's really slick. Oh yeah, that works phenomenal. The Gator went from a five-wheeler, now it's down to a three-wheeler. Hopefully soon here, I'll have up to a, a four-wheeler. I guess I'll have to do it the slightly more dangerous way. This is legit. How many times do you get a ticket here? Like three times. <laughs> you donated 60 bucks, didn't you? No, I fought it every time. <laughs> Ian and I are breaking stuff. There you go. Slide it back. Yeah. Good as new. We're really good at breaking stuff. Today my girlfriend is graduating. We already took pictures. Now we gotta sit and wait until they start the ceremony. Her family has a seat reserved for me, so I can just screw off. Successful? Yeah, you missed the adventure.
There are definitely a lot of people graduating today. When I graduated high school, I think there were only about 85 of us that graduated. And then when I graduated college with an associate, I never walked. I don't think my girlfriend walked either. She went to a different college and now she transferred to this college to get her bachelor's. But there are a lot more than 80 people in there. My girlfriend already walked, now I'm just enjoying nature. I should probably head back inside. First speech was wonderful. The second one, I mean, there were good points. Just the other guy had a lot more energy. I like energy. You just chilling there? Yeah. He's just chilling there. So the graduation was successful. We moved her out. Now we're gonna go get something to eat. What's up, buddy? How you doing? What are you wearing? Some fancy clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you go racing today? Sure. How'd you do? Terrible. Terrible. Yeah. My dad. Chicks are not really loose and uh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna not buy another cheap one because. Oh, that's your one. second one? Well, I remember I broke it and then I bought this cheap one and it caused nothing but issues. So. Really? Seth, how'd you make out, buddy? Uh, not too good. I blew both tires. Really? <laughs> both of them? Gone. Front and back? Are you freaking kidding yeah, you're, me? You're not messing up today. It's uh, pretty lucky. <laughs> Did you really pop both tires? Yeah, they're gone. Well, the back there, definitely. The front tire looks soft, but the yeah. back and fuel is getting softer as I was going. <laughs> I shifted the first lap, the second lap I couldn't shift. And then I go ahead and I go to pass my mom. And I'm like, oh, she's got the toolkit. So I flagged her over and uh, we tried tightening it up and uh, it still didn't work. Took off my kickstand, took the lock washer I used for that. And then threw that on there and then tighten it back up and then took that back off. But it took probably like 25 minutes to do that process. And did it, did it screw up after that? No, but the race is over. The guy said it was a mud bog. I was at my girlfriend's graduation. So you had shifter problems and he had tire problems. Okay, yeah. I, I loosened up my front suspension before we went. It's a lot better. Hey, girl, you're driving the jet here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't like that? No, it's a lot better now. Oh, okay. Was it like MX or was it like uh, both? Mud. Just just mud. Yeah. No, no jumps. No jumps. Alright guys, I'm glad you made it home safely. <laughs> See you guys.